Analyze Interference is a valuable tool for detecting design errors in assemblies that don't have moving parts. However, if your assembly has moving parts, collision detection is the tool that will help you make sure your mechanism is free of design flaws. In this example, I'll be using collision detection to make sure the swing arm doesn't hit this web as it rotates. Notice in the browser, I have an angle constraint preventing the arm from moving. I need this constraint to drive the motion of this assembly. But if I suppress it for now, I am able to freely rotate the arm. It's difficult to tell if there is a problem with the web. So I will drive the angle constraint with collision detection turned on. Driving a constraint is a way to temporarily simulate motion by stepping through a set of increments. This is why it is important to have a constraint available to drive the motion. Think of it as setting two offsets for a constraint and having it step through that distance to simulate motion. I'll right click on the angle constraint and select Drive Constraint. The dialog box pops up where I can define the start and end conditions, in this case, angles. I'll first expand the window to be sure that the collision detection option is checked. If a collision is detected, the motion will stop and Inventor will display a message letting me know there was a collision. This is also where I can set the other options for motion. I can define the increment by either a set value or a total number of steps. The repetition option allows me to set how many cycles I want to animate. I'll start the animation by clicking the forward button. And Inventor tells me that a collision was detected. The parts also highlight in the design window, showing me which parts need to be fixed. I'll click OK to close the message and click the reverse button and you can see the arm swing in the other direction. Again, when the arm comes into contact with the web, Inventor tells me there's a problem.